favorite. It's it's hard not to talk about her when she. <laughs> It just keeps happening, and newsworthy stuff just keep happening, and Lizzo just keeps showing up in my news feed. It's impossible for me not to talk about her. She was just oppressed not too long ago, and now she's playing James Madison's flute while twerking. Are they trying to make a mockery out of our country? And Lizzo, as a fellow fat person, don't let them use you. Stop letting them use you to make a fool of yourself and you play a James Madison's flute. Why not just put George Washington's teeth in your mouth and go around biting people in the booty? That, that <laughs> oh my God. A month ago, Lizzo claimed she was oppressed. On Tuesday night, she played James Madison's crystal flute before thousands as the nation goes to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> For real. They, I Bro, Every country, even Kiev is laughing at us after we sent them billions of dollars and we we got a Slimer from Ghostbuster on stage in blackface playing a flute. What's a Lizzo? Might be your first question. She is a larger than life pop star with an appetite for twerking. The, Democra- the Democratic Party and apparently history. How can an oppressed person Play a historic national treasure and be celebrated for it. Might be your second question. We'll answer that in a moment. Exactly. How are you oppressed? And you playing a flute from a white man, the people that oppressed us. James Madison. It, she might not even know who that is. I don't know. On Tuesday night, Lizzo surprised concert goers in one of Washington, D.C.'s most soulless neighborhoods, Navy Yard, with a surprise performance on the Founding Fathers' flute lent to her by the Library of Congress. She added, Bitch, I just twerked and played James Madison's flute from the 1800s. She hollered on stage, and she probably said, Period, after. Y'all forgot that. She was probably, Bitch, I just twerked on stage and played James Madison's flute from the 1800s. Period. <laughs> Lizzo also added, history is freaking cool, in all caps, the singer of American modern classes like About Damn Time and Girls tweeted, nobody has ever heard this famous crystal flute before. Now you have. I'm the first and only person to ever play this presidential 200-year-old crystal flute. What if they didn't clean it out and there's some like 200-year-old virus in there? I don't know. I don't even know if a virus can last that long. Let me watch this clip. That's on Twitter. Oh, my. Look at that outfit. So she played a 200-year-old flute at the Library of Congress and later also got to show it off on stage at one of her concerts. All the LGBTQ people are in attendance clapping their hands. All the vegans eating vegan ribs is down there applauding this. <laughs> they down there applauding the hell out of this. All them LGBTQ skittle haired mother lovers don't oppressed and masculine tox- toxicity and gas lit women are down there cheering her on. As Oh my gosh, she has on a bodysuit looking like a 1980s wrestler. Jeez Louise, bro, this is, yeah, bro, They this is making a mockery of our country. I can't believe I just watched that clip. Uh, the answer to your second question is that Lizzo is not oppressed. Duh. Obviously, she has more money than God and is loved by a large number of people. As for national treasures, many like conservative strategist Greg Price pointed out that the Bureaucratic stewards of our country, mostly leftists, do not actually care about its history. Absolutely not. The Library of Congress really took out a 200-year-old flute that belonged to James Madison just so Lizzo could twerk with it, Price tweeted. They degrade our history and then call you racist if you actually value it. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I, yeah. What, what was the point of the flute? I, I really want to know whose call it was. Like, you know what Lizzo needs while she's twerking on stage is a crystal flute. She needs James Madison's flute. 
But if they put her on some shackles and and had her come out there pulling a cart like the oxen that she is, then there'd be a problem. <clears throat> Lizzo, oh, here it is. <clears throat> It is true. Lizzo has called America institutionally racist. The left believes that sentiment is basically a litmus test for Democratic candidates seeking office. Very true. Lizzo was even euphoric after Biden was declared the winner of the presidential election in 2020. And this time I was hopeful and I was scared. I think Trump is out of office officially, Lizzo said. In November 2020, I'm seeing the news everywhere. I think this is the end of that four-year term that felt like a thousand years where people lost their lives, their livelihoods. This country fell into a pandemic, a recession, and you can't really blame one president for things, but you can blame them for for how they handle it. Uh, I don't know how four years felt like a thousand, whatever. Of course, underbiting. Even more people have lost their lives from COVID as well as drug overdoses. Crime has skyrocketed in major American cities, L.A., New York, Philly, you name it, San Francisco. People have lost their livelihoods and then some through inflation. The U.S. is currently in a recession with more pain on the horizon. Lizzo's criticism of Biden has been noticeably noticeably absent. Or maybe nobody bothered to notice because who really cares what she says? But since the library, since the Library of Congress hoisted her into American history by giving her the flute. We now need to discuss it. Lizzo, like all Biden voters, seems blissfully unaware that Biden's America stinks on ice, to put it bluntly. Biden is equally oblivious that his foreign economic and energy policies are harming America. I don't I don't know if Biden cares. I don't know if he has enough cognitive ability to care or even knows how to care just because of how aloof he is all the time. The entire world has been destabilized by the war in Ukraine and the resurgence of the Taliban. He denies that government spending contributes to inflation and says the answer to high prices is more government spending. His policies have actively discouraged Fossil fuel production, and now Americans are facing a winter of actual pain as energy prices look set to skyrocket. It's so crazy because, as you know, California's Democratic ran and the governor banned or is trying to ban uh, gas powered cars in the next few years. And then they were having a, a heat wave, and he told people not to plug their electric cars in. It's so crazy to me. <clears throat> But Bi- yeah, Biden wasn't actually at Lizzo's concert on Tuesday night, but at the rate he tells tall tales, he'll likely claim by next month that he was on stage with her as she shook her derriere and showed off her flute skills. Lizzo says she is oppressed. Biden says America is doing great and they're both delusional about the state of the country. They are a match made in heaven. These two, you ain't never lied. Maybe we should have uh, Biden go on stage with Lizzo and have her twerk on Biden. That's what the world needs to see. Why not? We we doing everything else. Just, just let Biden go on stage with Lizzo and let let her bag that thing up on him. As Kamala Harris holds his back. So he don't fall from all that, from that wide booty. She got, uh, man, I, I, I don't, as a proud American, I don't like to see like they they wouldn't do this in any other country. I don't feel like any other country would allow a musician, pop star, whatever she claims to be celebrity. I don't think any other country would allow them to come on stage dressed like that and play a historic flute and twerk with it in their hands like it almost makes you look soft or out of control or like you need to tighten the reins i don't know bro it's it's kind of crazy to me <clears throat> how does everybody not have a problem with it it's buffoonery <laughs> absolute buffoonery <clears throat> Absolutely buffoonery. I, I should at the rate 
this is going, who knows what the hell is going to happen 